Hello there, everybody. Dan Calloway again. Um, thank you for watching. Coming to you from the Linux Unix Tech Channel. I'm in my Salient OS Arch-based Linux system again today. I got a couple of short videos I want to do, and this one I want to talk about um, a modification of the command that most everybody uses, uh, regardless of Linux distro that they uh, might have, uh, and that is the ls command, and that's for listing out files okay on the system uh, what I've done and what I want to show you here is I've modified mine created an alias and modified mine uh, to colorize the terminal for listing and also to add a lot of uh, increased functionality and enhancement to the way uh, a normal ls command displays a listing of files in the Linux system so the first thing I want to do is I want to go into the terminal and show you the alias that I created. So let me fire up the terminal. Let me go up to full screen here and uh, let me uh, bump up so we can see what's going on. Let me clear the screen. Let me go out to Kate and uh, go to a file where I have all of my aliases uh, set up in the system and that is my dot bash directory and in a file, hidden file called alias dot alias under my uh, home, home directory. Um, let me go down to line 88 of this file. Okay, and right here it is. It's alias ls is equal to lsd-la1f. Okay, um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you that. Um, first of all, if you go back out to the terminal, and um, let me go out to another terminal actually. I've got that one occupied right now. Um, if I bump up the screen here and let's bump up the so you can everybody can see it. And if you just run, I'm in my home directory uh, in my Arch Linux system. If I run an ls command, this is what you normally see. It's fairly plain Jane, you know, and you don't even have a long listing human readable or anything like that. Uh, to get that, you would have to do this using a uh, TAC LH um, switch and that brings you up to at least a human readable long format listing of of the directories alright so what I've done uh, and I showed you in this original uh, entry here into this uh, alias that I created it's something called LSD now LSD is a um, program that you need or a package you need to install in your Linux system. I'm running Arch so I'm going to be using Pac-Man to do that and so all you need to do is install the Pac-Man uh, I mean install the LSD package in Pac-Man in order to obtain it and for me it would be Pac-Man dash S capital S little s LSD okay um, I'm not going to do it because I've already installed it uh, but I'm going to go ahead and show you that if I do a Pac-Man and just the little s to search, um, well actually capital S, little s to search, and then LSD, it's going to go out and and uh, show you that LSD here um, should be here. It is LSD is a community repo package it's available in the community repo in Arch and it's version 0.12.0-1 it's already installed so I don't need to install it again but that's how you would install it if you were installing it uh, in Arch now if you're installing it in a Debian based Ubuntu based system you just use the sudo apt-get update and then sudo apt-get install LSD and that should get it for you as well alright so let me go ahead and exit this now that I got LSD on here, uh, I'm going to go back to my alias file, and the alias that I created again was ls equals. I'm invoking the lsd package, and I'm using uh, a couple of switches here. The l is for the long listing. The a is for show hidden files, and that'll be the dot and the dot dot file as well. The l here. I mean the one here that follows that is to show one per line 
okay? And then the capital F is to append an indicator at the end of the file if it's a, a directory or something else. So if it's a directory, it'll be a forward slant, slanting line. If it's uh, some other kind of file, perhaps like a, a sim link, it might be a dot uh, or something like that. Currently, it is um, act actually has a pound sign in front of it, so it's commented out. I'm going to go ahead and uncomment it so that it, it will become active. And let me go ahead and save this file. And then let me go ahead and close uh, Kate. And then let's go ahead and exit out of the terminal. Make sure we don't have any other terminal session up. Okay. So let's go ahead and open up the terminal again, and I'll show you the difference that uh, you get from this. And it's really cool. The package again is LSD. Let me clear the screen and let me bump it up so you can see a little better. All right. So remember when I invoked LS before, we got a pretty plain Jane appearance in the terminal. Now when I invoke LS, this is what you get. This is the long. This is the LS command being used on my home directory. And as you can see here. You get one entry per line, um, and then you get information that is color coded. So blue for directory, then you've got uh, green for read permissions, white for write permissions, red for executable, which is kind of cool. And then you have your human readable stuff, which is the size of your file. Directories don't have sizes assigned. Um, and so here you have a 142.7 megabyte file here. All right, it's a tar.gz file. Then what follows here is what I call emojis. Okay, so they're little icons, um, kind of like avatars, but they're called emojis. A directory, okay, which has the trailing forward slash, which makes it immediately obvious if you're looking over here. You know these are directories. Has a little open file, open file folder, which is really wonderful you know, indicating a directory. Um, here, this is a database program, uh, tar.gz. Uh, so it's a, a gzipped tarball, OK? Uh, here, you've got a bash shell uh, file. It has a star at the end of it. And then it has uh, this particular uh, emoji here that indicates code base, OK? Um, here, you've got a what looks like a piece of paper, okay, which is a regular file. Uh, so this is kind of cool. Uh, I like it. Uh, let's go out to clear the screen. Let's go to the Etsy directory and take a listing of that. And you notice how it comes up plain Jane, all right. But let's do a listing ls of etc. And you can see the difference, what you're getting here. Uh, very cool. Uh, you know, comp files show up with their own little emoji here that's different from the rest of them that I showed you earlier. And so that's um, actually accomplished using an LSD package that you'll need to install. And then my uh, recommendation for you is to go ahead and um, create an alias like I did. Let me go back out to it again. So let me do a kate on dot bash dot alias. And we can take a look at that again. Uh, actually, I was in the wrong directory. So let me get back to my home directory and now let me do a um, kate against dot bash dot alias all right now let's go down to line 88 I'll show you that alias one more time you actually can run the video back if you want and take a look at it but here it is it's um, alias space ls so I'm modifying the original ls command and that's equal to lsd instead of ls so it runs the LSD command instead of LS. And then you have switches. You have four switches. You've got the L for the long listing, A for the hidden files, including the dot and the dot dot, one to indicate one per line, and then a capital F to indicate an appending end of file character. For, for uh, directories, it would be a forward slanting line. For bash scripts, it's a, an asterisk uh, that we saw there in the uh, previous screen that I showed you. All right, so uh, let me get out of this and um, wish you uh, would go ahead and uh, comment. Uh, if you have any comments that you want to leave me, um, please uh, vote for uh, liking my video if you like it, if you like what you see. 
Let me know in the comments if you need, have anything else you would like for me to, to show you. But this has been a short video today on modification of the LS command uh, to include the LSD package for colorizing and enhancing functionality in the terminal using the listing. Have a nice day.